Samurai Spirit is a 45-minute cooperative game for 1-7 to seven players. Use teamwork to fend off the invading enemy horde. Unleash the power of your animal spirit in this cooperative village defense game. In Samurai Spirit, you each control a samurai and together must defend the village from three waves of invading raiders, one per round. Players take turns in clockwise order engaging enemies. The round ends when there are no more enemies or if all of the samurai have passed for the round. Each samurai is unique and has a special talent that they can use during their turn. This is shown in the top left corner of their samurai board. At the beginning of each turn, the player must apply the penalty indicated in the lower left of the most recent raider card to the right of their samurai board. Next, you must take one of three actions, fight, support, or pass. If you choose to fight, draw a raider card from the draw pile and flip it over. You may choose to defend against this raider or confront the raider. Defending against a raider means its penalty cannot take effect, but there are a limited number of defenses you can make each round. You must also use all of your defenses by the end of the round to avoid any end of round penalties. To defend, look at the top right corner of the raider card. If there is a defense symbol there, check the matching symbol to the left side of your samurai board. If that space is empty, you may place the raider card in that space. If the space is not empty or the raider card has no defense symbol, you must confront the raider. To confront the raider, place the card to the right of your samurai board and adjust your meeple on your battle track to match the sum of your confronted raiders. If you manage to land your meeple exactly on the highest number of your battle track, you've activated your special Kiai power. Remove the oldest card from beside your battle track and update your meeple accordingly so it still matches the sum of the cards beside it. You may also choose to immediately use your special Kiai power, which is shown at the bottom of your samurai board. If your meeple goes beyond the highest number of your battle track, you are overcome by the raiders. Remove a barricade protecting your village. If there are no more barricades, remove a farmstead. The next action option for your turn is to support. Take the token at the top left of your samurai board that matches your talent icon and give it to another samurai. On their turn, they may use their own talent and any talents that have been given to them as if they are their own. At the end of their turn, they must give back any talent tokens, even if they didn't use them. When you provide support to another samurai, you allow one raider to slip by your defenses. Take the top card from the raider pile and add it to the intruder stack by the village gate. At the end of the round, these intruders will make a final attack on your village. The last action option for your turn is to pass. If you pass, your turn ends and you will have no more turns for the remainder of the round. If at this point your meeple is beyond the highest number in your battle track, you must pass. When the last card on the draw pile has been played, or all samurai have passed, the round must end. Any samurai who has not defended against a card showing the hat symbol must take a wound. Each samurai who has not defended against a raider with a farm symbol removes one farmstead from the village. Every samurai that has not defended against a raider with a family symbol on it must remove a random family token from the village. After these tokens have been removed, look at the back of the remaining family tokens and receive the bonuses depicted there. Lastly, reveal raider cards one at a time from the intruder stack by the village gate. For each card with flames on the lower right, remove one barricade. If your village has no barricades, remove a farmstead. If you still have at least one farmstead and at least one family member, move on to the next round. To begin the second round, collect all of the cards you've used so far this round and add one randomly chosen lieutenant card for each samurai in the game. Lieutenants are the cards with a value of 5. Shuffle the deck and place on the hillside of the village. The unused lieutenants will not be used for the rest of the game and can be returned to the box. To begin the third and final round, do the same as the second round, but add one boss card which has a value of 6 instead of a lieutenant for each samurai. If you've made it to the end of round 3 and you still have at least one farmstead and one family member, congratulations, you won! If you won, you can score your game to see how well you did. You get one point per farmstead remaining, one point per family member remaining, and one point if no samurai currently has a wound marker on them. In other words, they were never wounded or were wounded exactly twice and are now in their animal form. Remember the penalties I mentioned earlier? Details for those can be found at the back of the instruction manual, but briefly, remove a barricade if you can, otherwise remove a farmstead. Place the top card of the raider stack on the intruder stack. 
If this penalty is active, you may not place any raider cards to the left of the samurai board. If this penalty is active, you may not support any other player on your turn. You must pass on your turn. Take a random card from the discard pile and shuffle it into the raider deck. You may not use your talent or any support token on this turn. Select a card from the left of your samurai board and discard it. The player to your left or right, respectively, must draw a raider card and add it to their combat line. Make sure they update their battle track too. Note that they cannot use their talent against this raider, but it could activate their ki. If that neighbor has already passed for this round, you are unable to fulfill that penalty. It does not pass along to the next neighbor. Take a wound. On your first wound, place a wound token on your samurai board. For the second wound, remove your wound token and flip your samurai board over. Make sure your meeple is on the number that matches the sum of the cards in your combat line. This has unlocked your animal spirit, which improves your battle track and your ki power. If you take another wound, put the wound token back on your samurai board. If you get a fourth wound, your samurai has fallen. Everyone has lost hope, and you have lost the game. Note that some boss cards have two penalties. You can take these penalties in whichever order you choose. If you are unable to take any of your penalties, you must take a wound instead of that penalty. Each samurai has a special talent which can be used throughout the game, as well as a ki power which gets even more powerful in their animal form. Their ki is activated each time they exactly reach the last number of their battle track. Haihachi's talent is the ability to give any even raider card drawn to the samurai to their left or right. That samurai plays the card as though they had drawn the card as part of a fight action. His ki allows him to add one barricade to the village up to the original mount you started with at the beginning of the game. As an animal, he can also remove one wound marker from any samurai board, including his own. Daisuke's talent is the ability to give any odd raider card drawn to the samurai to their left or right. That samurai plays the card as though they had drawn it as part of a fight action. His ki lets him remove the most recent card from any samurai's combat line, including his own and give it to any samurai, including himself, to play to their left or right as though they had just drawn the card. Make sure all samurai involved update their battle tracks. As an animal, he can do this twice. Note that Haihachi and Daisuke cannot use their talents to give cards to samurai that have already passed this round. Gorobai is immune to the penalties of even cards. His ki lets him directly discard the top two cards of the raider deck. As an animal, he can discard the top three cards instead. Kanbei is immune to odd cards. His ki lets him directly discard the top two cards of the intruder deck. As an animal, he can discard the top three cards instead. If Kikuchio chooses to fight on his turn by drawing a raider card, he may choose to fight a second time. His ki lets him directly discard the most recent card from any samurai's combat line, including his own. As an animal, he may do this twice. Kyuzo is able to discard any raider card drawn that matches the value of a raider card already in his combat line. His ki lets any samurai, including himself, give his support token to any other samurai, including Kyuzo. As an animal, he may also build one barricade, up to the original number of barricades. Note that if Kyuzo receives the support token, he must still return it at the end of his turn. Generally, giving Kyuzo support with this ki action only makes sense if his ki was activated on someone else's turn. After drawing any card, Katsushiro is allowed to look at it and may choose to return it to the bottom of the draw deck and draw a replacement. This replacement must be kept. His ki allows him to turn over the top two cards of the raider stack and return them in whichever order he likes. As an animal, he can flip the top three cards instead. To begin a game of Samurai Spirit, Place the village game board in the center of the table. Place six farmstead tokens building side up in their marked locations. Put the three family tokens doll side up in their marked spaces. Place barricades equal to the number of players plus two in their spaces around the village. The remaining barricades will not be used for this game, so you can store them in the box. There are three types of raider cards, plunderers, lieutenants, and bosses. Shuffle all of the plunderer cards, which have a value from one to four. 
With the cards face down, take 7 cards per samurai, and place them in the raider stack. The rest of these cards will not be used for this game, and can be stored in the box. Set aside the lieutenant cards and the boss cards for later in the game. Each player gets one samurai board with their matching talent token, as well as a meeple and a wound marker. Place the samurai board human side up, the talent token on the talent icon on their samurai board, the meeple on the zero on their battle track, and the wound marker next to the samurai board. The game also includes an active player marker, which can come in handy when your talents or ki actions start activating samurai outside of their turn. You can give this to a random player to start and pass it along after their turn completes. If you would like to play with easier, harder, or heroic rules, you can find specific setup instructions at the end of the rulebook. For example, when you remove a farmstead from the village, if you are playing hard or heroic mode, you must also endure the penalty depicted on the back of the farmstead. Look at the scoring section in the rulebook to see how to score the different difficulties. Where Games Explained, and that's how to play Samurai Spirit.